Welcome back to You Betcha Radio Podcast, the coldest podcast in all the Midwest. I'm Miles You Betcha Guy here with Ryan, the T-shirt guy. We are presented by Ice Mountain, and we are live and ready and rocking and rolling. Hello. Have you ever rocked but not rolled, Tyler? No, we're just not alive. Have you ever rolled and not rocked? I can't say that I have. I think I only rock and roll. You ever rocked out with your rock dock, out? dock out? I don't yeah. know what a Glock. Guys, welcome back. Um, feeling good. Ryan's here and healthy. He was gone for our Patreon episode. He sucked up some Tums. Um, Pepto. Ah. And before we ask Ryan how he's feeling, remember, guys, we're on the road to 3,000 patrons. Mm. We're on the road to 3,000. Tyler, do you have an update? We are at just over 2,500. We're at 2,570 as of this morning. 2,570. So we have there. 430 <laughs> patrons mm-hmm. left to go. And once we hit 3,000, our wives are going to do a Patreon episode just for them. <laughs> yeah. And we Jared. Sh- we should also make Tyler, mm-hmm. we should make Tyler go on a 3,000 mile road trip by himself. Yeah, well, let's do that. Do I get for, the week off? No, <laughs> okay. No, let's do that. You would love that. Hey, let's do that for 6,000. Okay. Sure. Okay. 6,000 mile road trip for Tyler. <laughs> you prove the time off. I'll do it. How how many back and forth of the U.S. would you have to do? I think you'd have to start in New York, drive to L.A., and drive back to New York. At least, right? I think. Twice, probably. So what I'd probably do yeah, is maybe, yeah, start right. here, drive to the West Coast, come home real quick, go to the East Coast, and then come no, back. No, you can't come home. Well, I'll stop somewhere in the area. And you can't bring anyone with you. That's you. And no, it's getting better. And no radio. No no radio, okay. no nothing. Just well, pure silence. Dumb. Yeah, we're going to rip the radio out of your car. Yeah, and you can't like stay at a friend's house or like a family member's <laughs> house. And you, yeah, don't get, fine. and you don't get a phone, and you only get... 400 bucks a cat. <laughs> you get your ID and four hundred dollars, and you don't get anything else. And that's yeah. including gas. You guys the take the yep. phone from me. I'm just I'm just gonna go off in the woods somewhere, hang out for six days. Well, no, we're gonna check home. the odometer on your car. Mm, I, I yeah. watched Matilda, I know how to run it forward. Stick a drill in there. Oh yeah. Yeah, we'll uh we'll print the map quest or you guys were, for you. you guys Did were, we just decide six thousand? <laughs> You guys, <laughs> this all sounds awesome until you're like no radio. Yeah. Well, that's because it sounded too awesome. It, it can't sound too awesome. It, was, it wouldn't have been awesome to you guys, but to me, that would have been great. At 6,000 million. Dude, how far is it from New York to LA? NY how- to LA. Okay. You're, you're almost going to have to do it down, back, down. So, yeah, I could go. Start you guys fly me to New York. I'll well, no, drive. you just go from Fargo to LA to New York and then back to Fargo. Would that be probably pretty close? Yeah. Then, what if he's like 14 miles short? He just got to dri- drive, drive the loop. Fargo. <laughs> he's gonna drive around the property. Okay, here. so add so go Fargo, LA. Uh, Fargo, no, on the, on the map. So it says up, New York up to, yep. So Fargo. To LA, and then can you add another stop? I don't, I'm not sure. I could maybe do it on here. I'll do it. I, I'll get it on my calculator if you just do Fargo to LA. Uh, just that. Seven, just do 1796, and then go LA to New York. Oh my God. This is bad podcasting. Twenty four forty five. No, no. Twenty seven eighty nine. We're at forty five eighty five. Okay, right and now. then now and back to Fargo, New York to Fargo. Oh, miles. <laughs> Fourteen should be perfect. Thirty five. <laughs> Six thousand twenty. Oh Let's go. My God. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and how long is that? Twenty-one hours. What is it? Forty hours. It would probably be a hundred hours. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so is mean, that what you want to do for six thousand? I mean, I have a family that I have to c- consider here. Bring them with. Bring them with. I, th- I thought I had to be solo. <laughs> no iPads either. <laughs> hundred hours. What is that? You could probably drive for 12 hours a day. Oh, God. That'd be forever. 10-ish days. Yeah. 
That is a long time. Yeah. I, you'd, you'd find enjoyment in it. Oh, yeah. If I didn't have like a family I had to worry about leaving for 15 days, 10 days, whatever it would be, I'd do it in a heartbeat. You could sign it up right now. Yeah. So you're pussing out is what you're saying because you have a family. Yeah. I, am. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you could probably talk back into it. All right, fine. We'll figure something else out. But right now, 3,000. Mm -hmm. You want to go back to It'd the... It'd be kind of fun. I could call into you guys once a day. No yeah. phones. No phones. No. Yeah. You just have to document it all on a... Uh, Digital camera. <laughs> no, uh, one of those with the mini tapes. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. Tape the recorder? V it's like a, but it's like, no, a VHS camcorder. Oh, oh they're like the little mini Sure. Ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a cassette kind of. Yeah. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. Um, Ryan, you know what I was doing last night? What were you doing last night? I was on TikTok. Ooh. And I think I found my kryptonite. Uh, really? Yeah. So she was... No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't tell my wife that joke. We'll cut that out. Uh, um, <laughs> no, it's any... My kryptonite is if I come across a video that is someone building something with a time <laughs> lapse. Mm -hmm. I don't oh. want you to show me step-by-step slow-mo just to be like, so the one example is the guy who mows lawns SB for mowing. free. Is it SB yeah, mowing? I love him so Dude, much. I'll plug when, him. I was that's the video I was watching when you walked in. Really, it was a guy asking a gal if he could mow her lawn for free. Yeah, and then he just cuts to straight time lapse of him fixing their lawns. Yeah, it's, yeah I don't even want him to even talk in the video. No, seriously, Just get rid of that. Just show me the time yep. lapse. Too much showmanship, SB. It's that, you know, could be building anything. For a while there, back on in, I would say, circa 2019, uh, when Facebook was hot with all of the, like, African guys digging a hole and building something. <laughs> yeah, making a pool. Remember those? Uh, they would like oh, only okay, use yeah. their hands and like sticks yep. and they would make a pool in the ground and like mix cement with their yeah, hands. Half of them would have like a waterfall or like some sort of feature in the pool. I know it's not real, right? That's <laughs> someone who is not just out there in a loincloth. Don't ruin the magic, Miles. But it's real. I didn't care. It was very satisfying to watch someone do that. Uh, were those like 45 minute videos or were those time lapse as well? They were time lapse, but forty five minutes. They were not time. forty. They were like eight minutes. Oh, okay, I, then I could get sucked into an eight minute video pretty quick. <laughs> it's just, it's like I gotta see what the end looks like. Yeah, sometimes if I'm like, I'll watch the first like two minutes and then just skip to the end to see the finished product because I know what they're doing. I'm just a sucker <laughs> for a time lapse video. Yeah, I've been watching a shit ton of metal working time lapses lately. Have you? Oh, yeah. What like, are you kind of like blacksmithing and stuff like that? Okay. I would like to get into blacksmithing. Hey, one day. I guess it's not blacksmithing. It would be forging. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Guilty Pleasure TV show. It's terrible television. Forged in fire. It's just... I've seen that. They take the four weirdest guys you've ever seen, and then they put them in a competition who can make the best shit out of metal. Mostly knives. We could have a forging competition between us four. We could forge each other's signatures. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice, Jared. How many times do you guys think you forged signatures back in the day? I could never get my dad's right. My, yeah. I think mine my dad had a stamp. My brother tried it. <laughs> but with the he did it wrong to where the edge of the stamp got on mm. the thing. Oh, oh see. so you could clearly see so it was close. a stamp. Yeah. He got in trouble. Oh, I remember that. Damn. So close. Yeah. <laughs> My brother at face value seems like he's, you know, straight and narrow, but he'll do shit like that. Oh <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, he he's he's sneaky too though. Um yeah. Which brother, older or younger? Younger. Mm -hmm. Ryan. Yep. You know what else is my kryptonite? <laughs> <laughs> Lay it on me. Tyler, you're our resident nerd. Mm -hmm. Is kryptonite a metal? Kryptonite is a mineral, a rock of sorts. Which then could be turned into a metal. Absolutely. Which could maybe be turned into aluminum. Mm -hmm. They make kryptonite weapons. They can make a kryptonite bottle. Exactly. And 
Wow. Did I think we did it? Yeah. I think whatever Ice Mountain is doing, it's my kryptonite. <laughs> they took the mineral. Maybe there's an Ice Mountain in the mineral. The minerals in Ice Mountain water in the aquifer that filled up from the cataclysmic event 13,000 years ago what, or so. The cataclysmic event, do you think that maybe was a meteor from the planet Krypton? <laughs> Lex Luthor, right? No, and regular guy. Then they bottled, they literally bottled kryptonite because it's my weakness. Yeah. I just can't stop drinking it. What about you, Ryan? Have you found that this may may have minerals relating to kryptonite? I mean, well, Ice Mountain, Ice Mountain in the the plastic bottle was good, but when you put it in the aluminum bottle, it's so good. Why don't you go so ahead and try good. some? Yeah, yeah. Take a swig. I, what am go I? Go ahead. I, I, hey, try some kryptonite. I only have a little bit left. I'm a damn near drank this whole thing. Hey, you wouldn't want to fake that. Makes you feel alive. Well, it's actually supposed to. I guess this is a bad analogy. Yeah, it's supposed to make you lose your superpowers. But this is kind of that rare <laughs> kryptonite that yeah. actually makes your superpowers mm -hmm. better. It's there are different colors. It's of more of a currency to your to yourself. So, guys, if you'd like to buy some liquid kryptonite, go to icemountainwater.com or go to a local spot. A local spot pick up. You gotta be looking for the new alum aluminum bottles. Aluminum. The we like to call them the Lumies. They're good. I'm sucking down Lumies. I'm having a fucking freaking Lumi right now. <laughs> a couple silver Lumies. Uh, on the topic of um, videos, that you get sucked into being your kryptonite. For me, it's been um, people who buy rental like uh, storage sheds from other people who've like just vacated wars. them. Yes, like storage wars, yeah. and then them going through and showing what is in there and what value it's mm -hmm. at. Yeah. Um, and th those so are not storage wars is your kryptonite. Yes, but not the show storage wars. This is more of like a, this is a like TikTok. It's storage videos. wars, abridged version. Yeah. Storage wars of TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> they skipped all the foreplay, just like we want with SB mowing. Skip the foreplay, get straight yeah. to the storage. Yeah. Locker. What, yeah it, what's the best thing you've seen they've found? Oh, probably like some old Nintendo, um, <laughs> like the, the original Nintendo or like, this one specific like Pokemon game for a game, whatever it is. It's, it's like that old shit that we probably had when we were kids and no longer have mm -hmm. is worth, you know, thousands. <laughs> yeah. You're like uh, Honus Wagner card. So why don't you just, I don't build stuff time lapsingly <laughs> because I just am not a good builder. I'm more of a demolition guy. Maybe I could do that. Time lapse Demo demos. Stuff. And then have it reverse tie laughs. It's like yeah. I'm building it. Yeah, I, I like those. Yeah. There'd be like troll ones. Watch, like, watch me build this sheetrock wall <laughs> with a sledgehammer from scratch. Watch a guy clean off puke from sidewalk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, oh. Where you gonna? Why don't I get into? Buying, why don't you buy some storage units? Uh, I cool. mean, some of these go for I mean, like put your fucking money where your mouth is. <laughs> some of them because they'll give All you, you like. All you do is talk about buying sports cards and. Flipping shit. Put your money where your mouth is. Get into the lottery. <laughs> Join I'm sick of you standing on the sidelines. Try to it's enlist. time you be the man in the arena. <laughs> and Dude, in the storage unit. You can you enlist in the storage wars. Can All you do is talk and talk and talk about storage units. Go, go buy one. <laughs> where where can you just buy one that someone's You're the making? guy who watches storage wars They don't teach TikTok. you that, though. Maybe there's a lane for me. Why don't you comment on a video yeah, and say, exactly. where can I buy a storage yeah. unit? Fargo, North Dakota here. Right? Yeah. You, all you do close? is just sit and talk and talk and you never act, Ryan. Now is the time. I'm not sure what the, is, what, what's going on. Storageauctions.com. <laughs> Boom. Okay. All right. I didn't know we had to spell budget, this though. whole thing out for you, Ryan. <laughs> that, that URL is also just so on the nose. Yeah. What's Good good SEO. <laughs> it's online bidding like eBay too. You love you eBay. Go. Bid right now. What's his credit card information? Let's do it. Let's go. Hey, I'll send you the link, Ryan. You have to. Otherwise, you're just going to be another uh, donter. You're never going to be a doer. We sit on the bench again. Yeah. You want to What ride? do you mean again? You You know what? <laughs> <laughs> you want to ride pine or do you want to buy pine? You could find pine in that storage. No, unit. I buy aluminum. Wouldn't that I be funny? He buys doors. a storage unit, opens it up and it's just pine benches. <laughs> <laughs> pine benches with fucking bags of cash on them. Well, that was an easy one. <laughs> On to the next. Link link is sent. 
you if you want to check her out. I'll bring all my all my <laughs> sports down. accomplishments uh, to the podcast next week for you, Jarrett. Okay. I'll hang them up right behind me. Sounds good. We might need to remove this. I, I need more walls. No, you need to stuff. wear your Letterman jacket. Huh? I didn't want, we didn't have Leatherman's jackets. We just had the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Le- a leather. leatherman's jacket it's just got a pocket for a leatherman <laughs> it's got a bunch of them yeah because we because size leathermans back in my hometown we thought letterman's jackets were kind of dumb yeah i i agree but i still have one we we got we have letter we have the the letters that go on the jacket well, we let's just get jacket. you let's buy you yeah. a jacket let's get that shit embroidered then you can give it to your wife to wear to homecoming <laughs> <laughs> oh she's called that prom night well no then yeah. your kid can wear it <laughs> well yeah no that's that would be the thing is handed down to the kid with my letter on it. He's like, Jesus, a fourth grader with fucking goes eight to a letters already. School. <laughs> <laughs> well, he will go to a different school. Yeah. It's, yeah. He so he's just school. wearing the wrong Letterman's jacket yeah. at his school. My old man's, though. Be a good story to tell. <laughs> so you going to buy a fucking unit or no? Depending on the price. Well, and they give you, they give you what, 45 seconds to look in there to see if you want to buy it. Snoozy loose. Not on storageauctions.com. Well, I want the 45 seconds, though. I don't uh, want to get scammed with something. Hey, with there's one old Playboy. There's one going for twenty bucks right now. There's fifty nine seconds left. Go, go Whole now. Unit. Do it. Go. Bid on it. Where? I'll Venmo Where you. is this unit? Uh, Kennewick, Washington. <laughs> <laughs> well, can you pick the shit up on your road trip? And bring it on back <laughs> yeah. for me. Don't ricochet this at me. No, I'm saying, can you pick the stuff up on your road trip and bring it there's, back for me? There's none in our area. It's kind of a fun game. Well, we should buy one every episode. That would be kind of sick, actually. Now, I will have to say, you did say that it is your... You said watching videos of your kryptonite. You didn't say yeah. storage units are your kryptonite. No, I, I, have no, I, right. I have no experience in this. Put the cart before the horse. Yeah. I have no experience in buying storage units. Um, so. Okay. I guess he won't buy one. That's fine. Just be a sideline guy your whole life. <laughs> No skin in the game. Tyler, what's your kryptonite if you had some kryptonite? Fucking cookies, dude. Cookies? No, no matter where we are, if there's cookies on the table, oh, I cookies. will eat one. I'll eat a cookie Just always. one? Typically more. I yeah. have to have at least two. I will say yeah. that also website cookies are... <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Pam Anderson's all. Yeah, and he, You're accepting all you're every single time. You're just leaving those cookies behind. <laughs> cookies have been getting me for years. <laughs> God, dude. I in same vein, just all bread. It's yeah. my car- kryptonite. Garlic. And I put Ooh. my money where my mouth is on like Ryan <laughs> this weekend. We had a l- <laughs> we had oh, yeah. a little uh fucking party for my cousin and my sister in law for having kids. And oh, congrats. it was a brunch and baby brunch. We had donuts and it was at our cabin, so naturally after everyone left, there was still donuts left. <laughs> so on the day, I ate four donuts. Hell one yeah. Day. Hell yeah, were they the, work. the, the coffee donuts? It was. I tried them all. I had a blueberry old-fashioned. I had a, sh- a, sh- a sugar donut. I had a chocolate twisted long john. I mean, were there any cronuts? <laughs> yeah. Uh, What's a cronut? Croissant. What is this? Mm-hmm. I don't remember. Like a week ago, croissant I donut. They're so good. You oh, would know if you there, had one. there wasn't any there. There no. wasn't Son any. Of a no. Also, I, I no, saw you, you had know. a blueberry old fashioned. I'm like, fuck, I'm gonna go get me one of them. And there was none left. <laughs> so he you probably ate all of them idiot. before I got there. What an idiot. <laughs> also, <laughs> Anne had the most failing upwards situation in her life at this party. So she made egg bake for it as well. Brunch. Oh yeah. Uh and she was like last minute was like, oh, shit, I was going to make egg bag for this. So she just made the egg bake. And the first one she did, like it was just like layered. And I actually thought that was good. Next one she mixed in there. We're talking this gal just put no preparation into this. <laughs> And everyone showed up and started eating the egg bake. And every single person was like, this is the best egg bake I've ever had. <laughs> okay, I did. And she's sitting yeah. there like acting like, oh, yeah, whatever. And I know yeah. in her head, she's like, yeah. I, didn't do this I don't something. even know what's in there. I don't remember the ingredients <laughs> is what was you. going on. Hell yeah. <laughs> no, and it, she thrives under pressure. Yep. That, yeah. was, that was one comment in the debrief between my wife and I when we left was, I was like, that egg bake was fucking good. I think it was because she like put way more stuff in there. It was like a lot of egg bake is just egg, mm-hmm. some egg stuff bake. in it. It was mostly everything else with egg 
filling in the cracks. Some people put like uh like they just they rip up pieces of bread and put it in mm. there. And I don't think this had that in there. I don't which I, don't I think is bread. why I liked it. Yep. I don't know. Whatever she did though, everyone was like, Wow, this is good. And I can attest. You should have, was, her, yeah. have her whip us up a pan for the pod. We'll do a brunch pod. Mm. That means we gotta do it in the morning. Yeah, that sounds stupid. <laughs> we could have brunch in the afternoon. As long as there's no bread involved, because that's my kryptonite. <laughs> yeah. Is there bread in this? Carbs. Does donuts no, count as bread? It just doesn't matter. Bread sticks, uh, Chetty Biscuits at Red Lobster, uh, <laughs> Texas Roadhouse uh, dinner roll with the little cinnamon butter. Oh, God. T Roadie. It just doesn't matter. Do it. But do- I, I mean, I'll just, just toast, toast in general. You mean English muffins? You mean twice cooked hash, bread? I guess hash browns isn't bread. You yeah. ever had, hey, are donuts <laughs> bread? Right, I think we kind of bread. It's, it's over a that. bready it's bread a dough. And, it's bread adjacent. It's got dough. Yeah. If there's dough, then it's bread. I mean, there's dough and cookies. I wouldn't call that bread. Oh, yeah, but that's God. cookie dough. It's not just <laughs> dough. Well, but there's it, bread does, dough. But doesn't doesn't like egg and f- like I don't think there is bread in cookies. I think there's flour and eggs, which makes like Dough. Yeah. I don't think it makes dough though. You guys know what I meant. It's 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 cookie cookie dough is different than cookies, is it not? No, it's cooked cookie dough. So you're if I went to the local DQ for a delicious sweet treat and I got a cookie (laughs) dough blizzard, I could just take those and put put them on a pan and they'd come out as cookies. Yes. Technically, probably. Really? (laughs) That's that's actually kind of a funny idea. Dude, we should try that. (laughs) We should that's kind of a do mini cookies. That's a sick idea. It should work. Cause then you could fucking you could scoop the blizzy out with the. Uh, I don't know if they. Do you need baking powder? I don't know if you need baking powder. I don't think you do. They just seem so. Yeah. Well, we could try it out. Yeah. It, Tyler's yeah. thinking it through this. I'm sure trying to think. Right. No, no, I'm trying to think of like, would it be better if we did them all in mini or like took all the cookie dough bites and mushed them together? To I you could do a little bit of both. I you think mini because then you have cookie crisp with yeah. milk. That's true. That's how they're bored. Yeah. Maybe that's what cookie crisp is. It's just the all the expired cookie dough bits from DQ. <laughs> uh, on the topic of food, my one of my biggest kryptonites is a box of cereal. Mm. And it really doesn't matter. If it's got some sort of sweet flavor to it, it doesn't matter what, what about of cereal. What about life? <laughs> I love life. <laughs> it get, it, I will. I will say though, life. So that's yeah. yeah. Life gives me a tummy ache. <laughs> Retweet. Yeah. <laughs> life gives me a tummy ache. That's why I, cinnamon life is the best. Okay. So. I mean, I could. I, if I got into one bowl of cereal. One box of cereal probably lasts me like two sittings. I thought you said one week. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you know yeah. Probably sense. <laughs> probably two sittings at most. So if I have cereal back to back nights, that box is going to be gone on night two. I like Damn. that. So when your kid gets old, you guys are going to be burning through cereal. I know. I know. It's going to be a problem. It's going to be a kryptonite. Classic. It already is a kryptonite, but Jared, what's your kryptonite? I'm very interested to know what Jared's kryptonite is. Um, I think I've said this before, but water, like jumping into water, I like hyperventilate right same, away. Same, dude. Not for the same reasons. You hyperventilate and could potentially drown. I get really hammered and potentially <laughs> drown. So same church, different pew. Yeah. Water is also I can't drink in water. <laughs> It just goes badly. Mm-hmm. You can't swim in water. It goes badly. Yeah. And it just, yeah, my, my whole body like tenses up when I'm in water. It's not, I'm scared of water. I just, uh, I don't know. What about like your ankle or knee deep? That's fine. But like once my torso gets in the water. Mm. What if it's a, what if you walk in and you clearly are touching the ground or is it only jumping in the water? <sighs> Definitely jump it in. I don't, I haven't really tried the walk up. We gotta maybe try a Baywatch situation. Yeah. Just we'll do the cookies. Start on land, run into the water, and see what happens. We start him slow. You just do a slow walk out there. If we pass that one, then we'll do a light jog. Yeah. And well, then if you pass that, then you sprint. And in. what we'll do is we'll give you a flag to hold. So as soon as you feel any sort of panic coming on, flag it up. We'll get you out of the situation. I think it should be a flare gun. We'll tie, yeah, we'll we'll flare tie up. Gun. <laughs> so like mm-hmm. in the springtime when the ditches fill up with water and you're driving on the road, that is, that's fine. Oh, yeah. I don't think. What if you no, barrel rolled your car into the ditch and it started filling with water? <laughs> would you panic? 
I probably would. Yeah. <laughs> now, I, now I'm definitely going to. What about baths? Do you ever take baths? <laughs> Yeah, how do you feel about baths? Baths I'm fine with because that's warm water. I think it's the coldness. So okay. pools out. Pools out. So, yeah, cold you, tubs out. so you as a kid never went in pools. Well, this is like this has been happening like the last 10, 15 years, this hyperventilating thing. Okay, was, so what had happened before yeah. that? Nothing. I was always a shitty swimmer, but nothing. But you you would play, you know, whirlpool with your buddies in the pool. Yeah, we do. Yeah. So are you saying like you you're actually scared or are you hyperventilate? Because if you jump into cold water, it will just take your breath away yeah, naturally. That, yeah, that's I, what happens. Yeah, yeah that I, happens I think, with everybody. Does it? Yeah, yeah. That's like yeah. an actual body's natural response. Oh, <laughs> like so you I, see I, someone in a, hop I, a cold I, plunge and they're like, <laughs> <laughs> like you can't yeah. catch your breath. Okay, I, mean, that, I guess I don't go much around no, water no, because of this. That's like the physical reaction to the temperature hey, change. That's Jared's nice. like, stoves are my kryptonite. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I put my hand on the stove, I get burnt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I've, I've seen people jump in, no problem, and not hyperventilate. I don't know. No, no, it's that's definitely your body is just natural reaction. Well, that's, that's good then. It's not yeah, my kryptonite. Yeah, you're good. Well, yeah. like on there, if it's well, that's a human kryptonite, is what yeah. it is. Jared. Okay. Species. Sure. Okay. <laughs> maybe start with like a splash pad or something oh my mm -hmm. god you ever been to a splash pad i don't want to go near them <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to do that um, <laughs> start you off at the splash pad. <laughs> we got a lot to do he's got to do a six thousand mile road trip uh, Ryan's got to go to Washington to pick up a storage <laughs> unit. We need to get you to a splash pad. And you got to make cookies out of cookie dough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we have a lot to get done yeah, this week. We got a big time to-do list. Um, yeah, Jared, Jared's like, I tell you what, when I go to the doctor, my kryptonite is when he takes that little hammer thing and hits my knee. <laughs> hits my leg. My leg out. just <laughs> flips up every fucking time. It's my kryptonite. I just can't yeah. avoid it. I can't go outside. I have like water coming out of my pores. Yeah. It's weird. Every time I run, running's my kryptonite because I just, water starts pouring out of my body. <laughs> the sun's my kryptonite. Every time I stand out there for a long time, my skin peels. Yeah. It's just, I can't believe how many kryptonites I have. So that, that happens to all you guys? You guys will hyperventilate? If you jump into cold water, yeah, it takes it literally takes your yeah. breath away. Okay. Yeah. All right. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you just you gotta full you just gotta focus on the breath. Yeah. <sighs> One of those. Um, I would say uh another maybe you guys can weigh on to this. Kryptonite of mine, uh, in terms of uh, the female population, mm -hmm. uh, would be a ponytail. Ah, I have one. I wrote so what, down butt cheeks, but <laughs> same vein. I tried not to go not really, but, <laughs> yeah. boobs or butt, mm -hmm. Tyler. I, yeah, I'm just sharing. But like <laughs> when my wife's got a ponytail, I'm like... Yeah, Audio yeah. visual, he slapped his the, hands together and rubbed them together. Time to hit the gym. <laughs> no i mean I, this is not a hot take but i'm the same way with a messy bun. yeah ma yeah ma yeah maybe uh a, what's a non-sexual kryptonite mm -hmm. that you have for the female population yeah uh messy bun messy bun and glasses the the complete look okay does. Yeah. Yeah. kind of because you're like oh she's gonna let her hair down <laughs> yeah. it's the classic and then like, take her end of her glasses and put them in her mouth it's like the, sudden, the whole Tyler's... librarian thing well, i think yeah. I like books that's so. like the high school yeah, yeah. i see that's like the high school he's team. like and preferably they'd be between the age 50 and 60 <laughs> the old librarian <laughs> that's like the high school teacher on varsity blues yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure she has it. Yep. It's a great messy trip bun and mm -hmm. mm -hmm. a strip club, right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. When they discover great at the scene. the high schoolers just going to the strip <laughs> club after a game, hammered. No, yeah. before the game. Before it. That's you're right. right. You're right. Night, awesome. night before. Yeah. 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 Yep. Yep. Stupid. Ryan, what about you? Are we still on the uh... non-sexual yeah. kryptonite? <laughs> Probably like uh, hoop earrings, <laughs> like hey. six inch in diameter. All right, that's not real. <laughs> Tell I, a real. I wasn't one, gonna Tyler. king shame him. Yeah, no king shame. Well, well I wasn't, but I knew that that wasn't real. I know. Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> or like 
10 to 12 inch in diameter hoop earrings gauges <laughs> gauges yeah preferably like like the hot the, just can't take anything no. seriously um <laughs> non-sexual i mean the ponytail and the messy bun that's that's one for me right there um well those were ours so <laughs> yeah <laughs> you well, no, it was it was, it was uh, give me a moment of delay to just keep thinking um i'd say maybe like a like a tuck like a tucked in shirt to the jeans okay mm. my wife yeah, she like walks a, out of that room with tucked in shirt. Yeah, like a tank top and jeans situation. Yeah. You're yeah. immediately trying to untuck it is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I hate to uh, inform you that you spent way too much time tucking that shirt in. Because I'm going <laughs> to untuck it. But now they got those they got those those like uh, one piece bathing suits that that they wear. Oh, yeah. The, mm. well, they, they're like a kid's onesie. What, yeah. Yeah. yeah pretty snap much. snap at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, why, why isn't this untucking? <laughs> He's got to break snap, the snap. buttons. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, That's a good one. Jared? Yeah. Um, When I'm at the bar and uh, the bartender, I ask for a beer and then they say short or tall. My weakness is always say tall. <laughs> Oh, I thought we were still doing sexual this ones. Is, we're doing like, non-sexual. Oh, oh, okay. I guess that couldn't, yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I was like, okay, bartender. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Man's about to be yeah, yeah. When, when the bartender no. laughs at all of my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a good one. Yeah. When the exotic dancer at the strip club laughs at all my jokes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's kind of like, uh, you know, like when you're first courting your wife and you say something she doesn't want to laugh at. But ends up laughing. That's a good uh, one. Yeah. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a W. Yeah, mission accomplished. Anyways, Jared, you said that your, your kryptonite is always choosing tall. Yeah. I Getting upsold, yeah. I don't I think there maybe have been one time in my life that I got a short. And I think it was on accident. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was, it was, it was well, they brought yeah, they brought out the wrong one. <laughs> or when somebody offers you a beer and they just bring back a short. The only time I'll get a short is if it's my last one. And let's say we're like tight on time or everyone else is like half done, then I'll go for the short. But the first one's always a tall. See, I typically get a short if I'm eating at the same time because I I don't Mm. drink as fast while I'm eating. So then it gets warm. So I just get a Mm. short so it's cold the whole way through. Mm. Honestly, I I don't mind like the uh, half lukewarm, half cold beer that is like a... there's not as much carbonation in it because then you can kind of slam it down. It is way easier to chug. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't give you that. That. I mean, I like the burn uh-huh. the first couple of drinks, but, you know, then I like to maybe slam. <laughs> what is it about humans that we enjoy the burn? I don't, I don't know. know. It's That's everything. A- it's like whiskey. It's nicotine. It's whatever. We like the burn. Hot stuff. Yeah. Like hot sauce. Yep. Makes you feel it. something. It's kind of our kryptonite. Yeah, we're just all dead inside. How about senses? Yeah, we're six senses. We're fucking numb, so any burn feels good. <laughs> it's probably true. Because I didn't like any of that shit when I was a kid in full life. Mm-hmm. One of my kryptonites that isn't like uh, tangible is like if someone if someone plays a prank on me. Let's let's use that as a as an example. The like the way I get revenge is usually ten times worse than what they did to me. So self control <laughs> is the kryptonite. Okay, yeah, self control. <laughs> it is starting to add up. <laughs> you can't do. You just can't just have one bowl of cereal, a modest mm-hmm. bowl of cereal. <laughs> you can't just have one cup of coffee. Uh, two shots of espresso. That's what I'm saying. You can't just have one shot. Why can't you just do one? I could. have you tried <laughs> one even. I have, yeah, but fuck, that's kind of boring. <laughs> Plus, one doesn't even get like I'm just trying to get back to ground zero from waking up. Like I'm in the negatives when I wake up, so to two shots gets me back to ground zero. Uh, I think T-shirt guys, kryptonite is self control. <laughs> <laughs> to narrow it down, yeah, it, yeah, I do have self control issues. Yeah. I have another one. It's it's just telling people no to their faces or like turning someone down. Like if I have no intentions of drinking, someone's like, hey, you want one? I will always say yes. Yeah. And it's just like, I think it's to avoid upsetting them. You've kind like, of changed doing that though lately. You've been like, uh, remember someone asked if you want to go to a hockey game and you said, I'm not going to, I don't want to go to a hockey yeah, game. Very different circumstances. Right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> very different. <laughs> 
I just thought you were. I, I thought you were just trying to be more upfront with people. Yeah, yeah, I know it's something I would like I to try, like, but it's my kryptonite. But you are dead, yeah. right? Like in a business sense. Yeah, I have no problem telling everyone in this room no right. immediately. Right. But if it was something else outside of work, I yeah, would, you know, yeah, p- pitter patter. It's a weird. Bit. It's I only feel this way when it's something not important. Like if it's important, like work stuff, I like I'm like, no, nope, can't get that done. That there's no problem just being open and honest. But if it's like something is unimportant, we're at the movies. Like, should we get a large popcorn? Yes. I mean, even though I know we're only going to eat a small. Like, well, bring it home though. Wait, no. wait, wait. You're only going to eat a small. I mean, typically, I get the, we me, Ann and I go through a large popcorn every fucking time I get, we go to the movie. I get sick if I try. no, a hundred percent. Well, you can't use the bottom, however many inches, because it's <laughs> well, tainted. I, can, I, I can. I eat the first top. <laughs> yeah. I eat the top off. But <laughs> I mean, there's just not a movie theater where I've left popcorn behind. I don't think. <laughs> well, yeah. If there's any left, I just bring it, bring it home. Usually, I have it the next day. Yeah, I've never done that. Good midnight snack. Yeah, midnight snack. Or the you you know, ne- next morning, decent little breakfast. <laughs> Put, pour some, little pour some milk over it. Yeah, a little, <laughs> just a little stale. A little cinnamon sugar and some milk. A little that, like that sp- might not be bad. spongy kind of. Actually, that would be kind of fuego. Cinnamon might save it. Yeah. Do you guys remember at the concession stands in high school when they would have popcorn left over and then some kid would go home with a garbage bag of popcorn? <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. Or like, yes, I do. He'd be walking out with six of those red and white boxes yeah. in his arms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think he ever ate all that popcorn? <laughs> Not <a fucking> chance. <laughs> Probably yeah, maybe he boxed it. it up and sold it. Yeah. And cool beanbag. Microwaves it for the next game. Yeah, smart. Get it from the concession stands. Then people are walking out. You sell it to them because mm. the concession stands are closed. That's uh, not a bad idea at all. Oh, uh, team lost. Drown your sorrows in a box of popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Maybe uh, do the popcorn trick on the ride home to feel better. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Wait, why are we talking about doing popcorn tricks other places other than the movie theater? Well, yeah. It's got to be public, right? Sporting, I mean, sporting events. Yeah, I would avoid that. Um, that's a school. Yeah, that's, that's skip, let's skip. Wait till that you're one. on. Wait uh, till yeah, you're on the road. Yep. or in college. Yeah, <laughs> collegiate sporting events. I think we can give her a go. I, no, I think it's mostly like if place has to be dark. You can't can't be at like <laughs> a, a noon kickoff <laughs> football game. <laughs> you're, you're fucking you're doing a popcorn roll trick right four in the on the fifty yard line, <laughs> just getting jerked off. Well, I was gonna say, even for, yeah. <laughs> I'll get topped. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I don't know what. There's just not many dark public places. <laughs> they do the wave. You're the only people that don't stand <laughs> up. <laughs> the, pop, the popcorn bowl just doesn't fall off your lap when you stand up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Big play and it's just your hands are up. <laughs> it just goes perpendicular. It just goes parallel with the ground. <laughs> you're getting the popcorn trick in the car. A cop pulls you over. <laughs> So I don't have that Sir, to can you just set that popcorn bucket aside? I Wh- can. Wish I could. I <laughs> or no, he's like, ooh, popcorn looks good. Can I have some? <laughs> Sir, I'm going to have to search that popcorn bucket. Yeah. I don't think you want popcorn. Hey, I don't have time to eat lunch today. Be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> you want to take me out to dinner first, officer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Give me that booze, you pumpkin pie haircutted freak. <laughs> you know what that's from, Tyler? Mm-mm. Yeah. Nope. Jared? Uh-uh. Dumb and dumber. When he drinks the pee out of the beer bottle. <laughs> oh, Harlan, yeah. <laughs> Give me the booze, you pumpkin pie haircutted freak. <laughs> then he drinks it and he asks me wants a tic tac. <laughs> oh, I, and he I does get... that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, is that our kryptonite, boys? Yeah, I think so. Um, speaking of my kryptonite, my another kryptonite of mine is our merchandise. Oh, every time I go to that site, I just buy it, even though I could just go down to the warehouse and get some. You, you could walk and twenty Ryan, yards. Looks like Ryan's kryptonite as well. What are you wearing? Kryptonite is wearing it. Never met a beer I wouldn't drink. Mm. Put that on a country label, and we could even put, put an that asterisk. On a t-shirt. Never, never met a tall beer I wouldn't yeah. drink. Right, Jared? Yeah. So guys, you got to get the never met a beer I wouldn't drink. I'm also wearing the meat without feet ad. Uh-huh. We still sell the meat without feet, right? Oh, yeah. uh, 
huge laugh at uh, the in-laws, the cousins. Did you? This weekend. It's a very clever hat. I like it. Yeah. They said, where'd you get that? <laughs> said, <laughs> oh, Jesus, God. Have you ever heard of an old website called www.worldwideweb.com? <laughs> Oh, you betcha with two H's dot com <laughs> slash meat without feet. I don't know if that's the URL. Slash product slash meat without feet. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, so guys, you got to go check it out. We got all the merchandise. We also bellied up. We had a guy call in who had an idea for a shirt and it's a high vis shirt that says hired with a dot dot with a line right here on the, on the collarbone. And it says hired from the neck down. Meaning you didn't hire mm-hmm. me for my brains mm-hmm. and Which is- we decided we're going to sell it so that he could, and then we're going to sell him all the profit on it. We're not going to sell him. We're going to give him all the profit so he can pay for an engagement ring. Hell yeah. Kind of a sweet little deal. Oh, yeah, and That I, one's on the site too. How I know that I'm the right clientele for that shirt. I thought the phrase meant you were ugly. So yeah. I guess I'm stupid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should get him a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> get this guy a shirt. Yeah. So if you uh, check that on the site, all the profit goes towards that. Uh, and the the guy is he doesn't have a phone, right? <laughs> so he called into our show from his girlfriend's phone and explained that he listens to the podcast. By downloading the episode and putting it on his MP3 player. <laughs> in the middle of Canada. Unbelievable. In the middle of nowhere, So Canada. he's got a computer, at least. He's Some, or his MP3 girlfriend player, does. How, yeah. old, how old is he? Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't think he says. He's not that old. He's not like an old guy. It's kind of wild, actually. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, guys, if you check that out, it can help him get his engagement ring. Also got a few tongs left on the site. Yeah, a few tongs. I mean, we're. I think we have. I think we've eclipsed the two thousand sold mark. Jesus, and we still have one thousand left. We gotta get those out. We of got a few left. Four fifty. Four dollars fifty cents. If we get desperate, we might have to mark them down even more. In Ryan. the in the Patreon water cooler chat, someone is asking if they could get one with a girl friend shirt. Do like a combo. Yeah, they can buy a tong and a shirt. Perfect. Yeah. Done. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Speaking of, we have gr- grill friend yes. shirts. So, guys, go to com. Check out all the mer- new merch. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back here. Ryan. Yep. You want to know what my kryptonite is? <laughs> Would love to. Now that we're on Anytime topic. I see the neon blue lights when I'm driving, I just I can't pass that gas. It sucks you right in. I just have to crank turn launch right into that holiday gas station. And you know what, Ryan, you know what else is my kryptonite? <laughs> Lay it on me. Uh, anytime that there's a deal going on at holiday where you could buy two Gatorade 28 ounces and get one free. It's like my hand just, it just goes like this and I follow <laughs> my hand in the store and it just grabs the Gatorades off and then it goes like this into my wallet and it pulls out my credit card and swipes it. I think it's safe to say uh, kryptonite is magnetic to the human body. It just sucks you right in. Yeah. Tractor beam. Um, so guys, I mean, we just can't pass up on those kinds of savings over at holiday gas stations. They got two Gatorade 28 ounces. You get one free. Any flavors that you like, Jared? That's maybe your kryptonite. I like the lightning one. You like the one with the lightning mm. bolt on it. Yep, that's mm-hmm. the one. I feel like I've only seen that, <laughs> but I feel like I've only seen it one place. Can you only get them at holiday? What's the, uh, what's it called? Lightning, uh, lightning blast. Lightning blast. Yeah. Is it lightning blast? Yeah, light, that's the one I like. Wow, <laughs> the turntables have turned. <laughs> okay. Lightning, ba- lightning, lightning, lightning blast is my favorite one. Yeah, it sounded like you got struck by lightning there. No, no, yeah. you didn't. It, it clearly is your kryptonite. Just talking about it, <laughs> <laughs> it's it's similar to when you jump into a cold lake and you're hyperventilating <laughs> away. <laughs> That's how I feel. <laughs> so, guys, don't pass gas. Turn on into holiday gas stations. Get yourself some G raids. All right, guys, little uh, Doug for car salesman of the year update. No update. Mm-hmm. The Still winners waiting. have not been announced. Sounds like it's sometime in September. So okay. a few more weeks. We'll see. No recount or anything yet? Everything's still just processing? No, I, I, I haven't know. heard any murmurs if there's a hanging Chad situation or a recount call. <laughs> so yeah, that's, I think it, the votes are in. It's just, I think it's just one guy counting ballots by hand. Okay. So. 
Yep, you vote online, then the online faxes yep. the votes to the place, and then the guy has to hand count them. It's been yeah, a he's got to he's he print each one off individually. That's a place yeah. in Florida. He keeps running out of toner. Yep. <laughs> yeah, a lot of You ran out of, of the paper ink. with little holes on the side with the perforated edges. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. They had to run to the store. <laughs> it was a perforated edges shortage in Florida. <laughs> Supply chain. Yeah. yeah. I think Greg Marcus finally took our advice. He's got a monopoly. Yeah. All he the just started <laughs> buying up all the perforation yeah. in the United States. I can't get him anywhere. So you got to go buy ice, ice or uh, popcorn buckets in bulk. <laughs> Classic Greg. <laughs> Classic Greg move. <laughs> I knew someone was going to finally take one of our good ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jared, you got some questions for us? I do. Richard Fitzwell. <laughs> hashtag Stump Ryan. Would you rather... Always one putt on the green. Uh, have gotten to play pro ball, or always tag out deer during deer season. One putt, pro, pro ball, ball, or tag out. tag out during deer season. Tag out. <laughs> so fucking. <easy. laughs> it's not a fuck Mary kill. You just got to pick one. Yeah. Oh, I got to pick one. It's a would you pro ball, dude, for sure. Really? I mean, you get two putt for par every every hole. You GIRs. <laughs> this is a guaranteed one putt from wherever you are. I know, but it doesn't guarantee you're going to get there in three, four, five strokes. Yeah. I'm playing Purdue. I mean, there's the, and then there's money in that too. You know, Monetary. make money, live in the yeah. dream. Now you say it, not a but great he one. did say just pro ball could be any league that's professional. <laughs> he did play pro ball. Well, semi pro. Semi didn't get paid. Yeah, so you could end up like in the Northwoods League. Wait, when you went to Washington, you didn't get paid for that. Mm-mm. How did you oh. make money? I just, I had money. I worked a job during college, so you just had to ride with no income while you're playing ball in Washington. Yeah. Why? Well, I also lived in a place where I only had to pay a hundred bucks per I'm not, month in rent. No, I'm not like dissing you. I'm no, I, like, know, I know. I can't believe that that's a thing. Yeah. outside of college, you would just play. You don't even get a couple hundred bucks a game. No, nope. <laughs> Super cheap rent. We got to get into that fucking business. <laughs> 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 just sell tickets and not pay the people to be playing. Are you kidding me? But like Northwoods League, you don't get. I mean, you don't get paid for that either because yeah, that's that's don't. pre and I, no, God no. You, I mean, you get like food, the Red you get food get and you paid? get free. The Red Hawks is a Northwoods League. Oh, what are they? Northwoods League is a co- collegiate league. Gotcha. What They're are the Red Hawks? I don't know that. What are the Red Hawks? That's what I'm ball. talking about. Independent ball. American Association. That's technically pro, right? Yes. Yeah, that is pro okay. ball. Yep. Hmm. So you weren't semi-pro. You were just, it was just amateur baseball. It was the amateur hour. <laughs> I guess that every, was the difference. Every, every time you'd have a game, it would quite literally be amateur hour <laughs> at the baseball stadium. <laughs> I, what's I guess I don't even really know the definition of amateur baseball. Not getting paid. Pretty much anything. What's the uh, definition of semi pro then? Because like Good we're playing against that, guys who I may have it, just got cut from like the Mariners. I think you would have need, to be getting paid. I think it's like semi pro is like where you make a lo- you don't make a full time salary doing it. Yeah, semi pro is a early 2010s movie featuring Will Ferrell in the Flint Tropics. As a, that was a, a, he went on an absolute heater yeah, of a, he a movie streak. Um, <laughs> I mean, the, like the Red Hawks, the rookie players on the Red Hawks, they only make 800 a month. <sighs> Plus food and board, like food sitting, and lodging. All, the only reason I bring this up is because I think it changes the dynamics of the question. It doesn't say you make it we to can, the MLB. We can Google it right now. Pacific International League uh just pacific international what if League everyone baseball? else is getting paid but they just told <laughs> them uh baseball mm-hmm. okay like we didn't have to pay for hotels or anything when we travel just go, just click the the definition. yeah click on the league home do 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 pil uh, <laughs> national baseball one of the team. premier summer collegiate baseball leagues in the northwest Zoom in, I can't read. Oop. Oh, it doesn't make the writing bigger. Hold on. Hmm. <laughs> it is an amateur league. They alongside the goal of establishing one of the best amateur leagues in North America. Oh, yeah. Well, that's fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I was no fucking amateur. No. Best. <laughs> they put best in in print. It's in one of with. the best. Best. 
I feel like this is a little bit. We've had two moments on this podcast now. Little whoopsies moments. Jared not realizing that everyone yeah. loses their breath jumping into cold water, and Ryan realizing he didn't play professional baseball. <laughs> Got to change the link. Well, no, I never. I I knew I never played professional baseball. You thought you played at least Jared, a semi. Jared, Google what the what semi pro versus amateur. Semi pro versus amateur. Okay. Their pressures are not average because they receive. Rate. Yeah, you, you have to receive payment. But generally, considerably lower than a full time professional athlete. So you do you have to have been getting paid to be considered. So the Red Ox technically. I would say they're semi pro. Semi pro. Yeah. What's wrong, Ryan? Well, the Red they're, they're not though. The by definition they are. So they're getting paid eight hundred bucks a month. Eight eight hundred bones. <laughs> by definition, they're semi pro. <laughs> the Red Hawk Tyler, the Red Hawks are not semi professional. According to this definition, they are. Oh, you're just you're just going off a fucking definition on Google. Why are it's you Wikipedia. mad at me? Can you can you Google FM Red Hawks? FM. All right, professional minor league baseball team. <laughs> well, what I mean, there are there other players that get paid more than eight hundred bucks a month. Yeah, it all depends on your your okay. status. Yeah, but I'm just saying, rookies they get eight hundred bucks a month for what four four months. <sighs> wow. Okay. Anyways, you have another question, yeah. Jared. <laughs> what was the question? This is uh, what you rather. Oh yeah, yeah, and I already picked that pro baseball. Well, here we go. We got another one. <laughs> no, no. Cape Dog. Hashtag Stump Ryan. Would you rather no longer be the driver anywhere you go or no longer consume st- stimulants of any kind? Driver. <laughs> yeah, that was. Yeah. I mean, that's it. Do you know sound, how much this guy loves stimulants? It Apparently sounded not. good. It sounded good. But I can sacrifice being the passenger princess for that. Okay. I mean, we're talking no caffeine. Or cocaine. <laughs> That's a big one. <laughs> you guys, I, I, I'll publicly go on the record. I do not use cocaine. <laughs> Sounds like Keep someone who <laughs> is would say publicly. <laughs> um, can, you, can we put a disclaimer saying I don't do cocaine? <laughs> I cannot confirm that he doesn't do cocaine. <laughs> no, guys. See, Ryan, t-shirt guy doesn't do cocaine. You I just pass our drug test. Yeah. I'm just uh, I'm high, I'm high on life. Is it randomly selected? Yeah, it's always Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Any mini money mo. <laughs> it's a random so wheel. With just next <laughs> time he sits at a different one, Eeny, mini money mo. <laughs> it's a random wheel with 15 names that are just all Ryan. <laughs> well, well here's here the wheel. Week 87 in a row. For random drug testing. Yeah, yeah. 18 <laughs> slots. There's 17 Ryans and one spin again. <laughs> Yeah, you don't you don't like you don't like coke. You just like the way it smells. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> um, <laughs> be hoppy too. Uh, what are some must haves for a man cave? Mm. TV for sure. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, yep. That's a must have. That, you're right. That is an TV, absolute must have. A, a lazy boy. Uh, Some sort of, does it even need to have four walls? <laughs> I'd prefer I mean, it. I mean, guys, if we're being honest, caves do not have four walls. That is true. Yeah. They only have three walls. Or so I actually if think if you, want, <laughs> if you want a true must have in a man cave, it <laughs> yes. has to only have three walls. Yes. I guess a cave technically could only have two walls. Yeah, they're just kind of curved together. It comes to a point at the end. Yeah. It's more like a man quonset. <laughs> yeah. A man hut. More like a man uh, cornucopia. <laughs> it's kind of what a man cave should be. Yeah, so for on this route, your man cave must have some petroglyphs on the walls. I don't know what that is, but it sounds Hieroglyphics. Good. Yeah, th- that's Egyptian. Petroglyphs are like the drawn cave paintings. Mm. Okay. Um, I think you got to have a beer fridge. You know, you don't have to have a bar. I don't think. I don't think every man cave to, needs yeah. a bar. But you need think, like a beer station, like a table. You next gotta to your cl- have a fridge. clearly defined area for booze and yeah. alcohol and beer, like so, a yeah. like a mixing spot. 
Yeah. Um, what about a bathroom? Is a bathroom a necessity or is that something you can just? It's no, definitely a big let's, bonus. Cause, well, if it's a garage, you just go outside and piss on the garage, that side of the garage. Or in the drain. <laughs> just piss on the side of the garage. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I get what you're saying. Or if you where we go hunting, you just put a funnel on oh, yeah. the inside, drill a hole, yep. and you just piss in the funnel outside. Yep. That's you, money. Next, you got to take a video of that. That is the best engineering. Yeah, it is great engineering. <laughs> um, what else does it need? I think uh, uh, there needs to be like one sort of like drinking game gimmick, like the the metal ring on a hook that you're or the string that oh, you, that's good it's got to be one thing like that just one little deal give me one other example like that um the, other than the ring on the hook like the snow globe that has you got to flip it up the golf ball up okay the tee. not even a drink just a yeah. game of some sort yes. like a fidget game yeah yeah, yeah. yeah i would okay i'm on board <laughs> with that um i think that it needs, I mean, you can't just have a bare walled man cave mm-hmm. either. You're doing a man cave. There's got to be, it doesn't always have to be sports memorabilia. You know, it could be beer signs. It could be, you, you could know, be your, you could taxidermy. Be your, yep. It could be any, it's yeah, just a little bit of everything. I mean, it could look like your local Applebee's. Yeah. That's, yeah. I mean, that's what my basement is right now. Half of it's sports stuff, half of it's dead animals. Or, or like the painting on Tyler's left shoulder. Kind of like yep, just yeah, things. just got to have stuff that's hung on the wall that's not bought because you're trying to do a certain aesthetic. Mm-hmm. If you're trying to do an aesthetic, you're doing it wrong. The aesthetic is no aesthetic. Correct. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I also think you have to have some sort of uh, some sort of lighting that isn't white. Isn't stock. Yeah. It's not stock yeah. light. Yeah. If if the lighting matches. You're doing something wrong, yep. <laughs> and, and and that could be that could be a neon sign. It could be anything, but there's got to yeah. be some some Roy G. Biv. We, we need white lights, yellow lights, blue lights, mm-hmm. yeah, flashlights, black flash lights, lights. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> strobe. No women allowed either. I also think yeah. a, no a, girls allowed in here. Yeah, I think a man cave is also this isn't a must have. This is just a sidebar here. A on, bonus on a what I would recommend. Is make sure your beer is bottled Mm. because Mm. when you, because in a man cave, what you do is you grab a bottle of beer, you sit down and you're, (sighs) you twist off the top and you just take the cap and you just go, Mm. you just throw it on the table or the floor. It doesn't matter where it goes. Someone else will pick that up. (laughs) So I highly recommend beer bottles just for the fact you can just throw the, the, the tops wherever you want. Well, I also think uh, the sound that they make when you when you throw a beer bottle into a garbage full of empty beer bottles, <laughs> it, like that's the sound that you need in a man cave. Yeah, you know, you can even pump that noise in if you want. Yes, yeah. like every thirty five seconds, yeah. just added bonus if it's one of those steel gray garbage cans as well. Those are nice. I got, one, I got one of those. I think yeah. you should also have a dartboard, but just don't use it. Very no, no it's never gonna be used. cork. <laughs> A yeah, cork, cork dartboard that gets used once every four to five yeah. years. It's and kind of like the Olympics. And if it is every time yeah. the Olympics are on, you can do darts. Yeah, it's dark. I don't even know. Dart. If it is an electric dartboard, it's got to be haunted. Just make noise randomly on accident every once in a while. Yeah, and if you have a, a electric dartboard with the plastic tips. You can't have a single tip unbroken. No, no. <laughs> every tip has to be broken no, off. You got to so, or you, no or no fletching uh, on the end yep, on the end yep, of the arrow. Yep. Yeah, you've got one dart that you guys dart. can all share and just throw three times. Well, and if you have any dart board, you better make sure you put it on a sheetrock wall and you put holes all around <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, the first four times you play on that, you better not hit the dart board <laughs> once. <laughs> Yeah, and and you need a ping pong table that takes up way too much room. Yeah, and it's just not, it. it just becomes yeah ping your, pong table, pool table, foos table. Just make sure there's not enough room for <laughs> yes. it. Yep. Air hockey table. <laughs> mm-hmm. That table will inevitably become your sitting down and eating table. <laughs> yes, <laughs> or you put laundry on it. Yep, yeah. <laughs> yep. That's another good man cave thing. <laughs> I mean, I don't know this. I think it's coming back, but you just need. A bikini-clad woman poster holding up some beer. Yep, yep exactly. Beer, uh, like a beer, beer, yep. beer sign, beer poster. Yep. Nineteen eighty-nine. Yeah, you need to have some sort of uh, 
a sexy poster yeah, artwork. A t- testosterone inducing yeah. artwork. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly it. It can't yeah. be your if you're put it can't be your wife though. No. You don't no, want your no. buddy. Do you know over. how insane that would be? <laughs> yeah. If in your man cave you hung up a photo of your wife in a bikini, that That's, just feels wrong. That's swinger vibes. Invite your buddies over yeah, to check buddies that can't out. Be looking at That's that. like on I love you, man, when he says he jerks off to photos of his wife. <laughs> <laughs> the guy was you can't do that. <laughs> it's disrespectful, honestly. <laughs> it's more disrespectful to hang up a photo because your buddies could come over. No, that's what I'm saying. And that's yeah, supposed to induce yeah. their testosterone, as Tyler said. Hard right. pass. Do not do that. That's a big no-go. That's a must-not. <laughs> it's a turnaround. Yeah. <laughs> I think also just a random instrument in the corner. Oh, yeah. Guitar is usually, but oh, you could also have a drum set that drum you got sets in college. Great, especially if it's a garage man cave, drum set's a great addition. Yeah. <laughs> it obviously never gets played. We had a drum set in our basement at our college house, and it got played only when we were at least 10 beers deep. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded good when you're drunk, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I think a surround sound that half works. Another big <laughs> Ryan's one. Got Check. That. Yeah. Uh, mine doesn't work. So <laughs> you got to get one of those speakers working. I, the TV speaker works. And also, if you don't have cords everywhere, <laughs> if you've done anything to conceal cords, you're doing it wrong. <laughs> if you got your sheetrock rigged up to where the cords are going in the walls to the surround sound, you you start See, I over. Kinda, I kind of <laughs> like that. You, yeah, in a living room, that's awesome. In a man, that's cave, true. That's, that's a mistake. True. That's yeah. very true. It should look like a rat's nest behind the TV. Yep. Yeah. And don't use surge protectors. <laughs> don't use those. Just Clark Griswold. No. Just have a whole <laughs> thing yeah. of uh, things plugged into one outlet. Yep. I mean, th- I think the entire room should most likely be ran off an outlet. <laughs> just one outlet. Yeah. yeah. I agree. <laughs> Extension cords everywhere. And then three prongers. Yep. Just <laughs> three prongs into three prongs. <laughs> and even if the extension cord doesn't have a third prong spot, you just rip that bottom one off. Yeah, you fit. don't even need those. Yeah. I don't, why do they put them on there? I don't, I don't know. know. It's it's I think it's just like guide the other two prongs in. Yeah. I don't get it. I, yeah. You got like human centipede your outlet. I, yeah. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Electric centipede. <laughs> yeah. it's a great name for a band. Uh, yeah. Write that down. I think that's it. Those are all. Those are the only must-haves. Just Everything else you can have, get creative with. <laughs> As if that wasn't creative. What are you thinking about? What do you think about for seating wise? Is it like uh, Lazy Boy, and then they can get creative? Okay. Yep. Couches, futons, whatever. As long as the Lazy Boy is in there, you could have. A, you could put a steel bench. <laughs> Don't say or, that. Just or, to to the or a sorry or a bench made out of pine. <laughs> Go on, I'm not gonna be sitting there. I'm, I never sat there. Ryan, just, I'm good. I mean, actually, I Ryan did sit just there for stands eight the whole time. <laughs> Ryan sits on your lap. Like, hey, you want to come there. over and watch Red Zone this weekend? And they show up, and there's one lazy boy in a pine bench, and he just stands the, the whole only time. two people standing. Or sits on the ground, crisscross applesauce. <laughs> Some dude has been every day asking. He's like day three of asking for a crisscross applesauce episode of us. Yeah. yeah. I couldn't do it for I more couldn't than either. five my, minutes. My back would be in shambles and my hips too. We could have a sitting. We on could the do floor. a Patreon crisscross applesauce. We'll do that for twenty thousand Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> when my back's completely worn out. Yeah. <laughs> um, Tyler Ziglicker asks, <laughs> Miles, what is the biggest challenge of being a dad? I also just became a confirmed sex haver a few weeks after you. Congrats! Congratulations, by the way. The, you said the hardest thing about being a dad? The biggest challenge of being a dad. Well, I'll give you two answers. One's the real answer of what I would tell other people. And then I'll give you a you betcha radio answer. <laughs> How about real answer like is uh, balancing work and a child in the sense of before I could think about work whenever I wanted to. And now when I go home, I'm like with my kid and being present with my child. So it's like, when do I do that extra work I was doing before? So trying to figure out a little work-life balance on that Mm -hmm. mental side of it. Yeah. So what I do now is a lot of more mental work than actually like beep boop bop on a computer. So that's been the toughest challenge for me. 
The other challenge is the other, the what you betcha radio challenge is how do I get him to like me more than his mom? <laughs> It's way easier when they can do shit. Yeah. I know, but yeah. I feel yeah. like it's one of those things that if you can find the right way to like get your claws in early <laughs> and you're just never letting go. I just, I said this to my kid the other night when I couldn't get him to stop crying. I'm like, I'm going to give you back to mom, but in a year and a half, I'm going to be the coolest fucking guy, you know, <laughs> and then I handed him back to mom. Okay. So I just got to start saying stuff like that. Yeah. He, just I'm, biding my time. I'm cool. Yep. I'm way funnier than your mom. Just start whispering <laughs> those yes. little subconscious. Yep. <laughs> Always his first word will be, he'll just point at you and say, cool. It's tough when they're on the teat too. Yeah. You got it. Well, once they're off. Nah, the he's bottle fed. No teat anymore. That's no good. Teat. That's big for you. Okay, well, that's an advantage. I mean, that is a, oh yeah. That is I've a, been sabotaging mm -hmm. to so, get hey, us there. Hey, sneaky route here. Sprinkle a little sugar on the end of that nipple when you bottle feed. Okay, I like that. <laughs> a little sugar water on the nipple. I like that. Yeah. I thought you were talking about Miles' nipple right yeah. now. Yeah. <laughs> a little sugar on your nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Oh, that would hurt. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, it would. Yeah. What are some other ways, Tyler? You, um, you've got the most experience with I this. I would now after after the the sugar water on the nipple of the bottle, sprinkle a little nicotine on there so he gets addicted okay, to you. I'm you not go. gonna do that. Oh. It's a YBR answer. No, that's a Patreon answer. <laughs> that is good. It's a fine good. line. That is a fine line. Ryan, your kid actually likes you more than your wife. <laughs> yeah, I've been the I, I feel like I've been the default parent for probably a year now. That's, what did you do? I think I think the, I mean, the biggest thing for me is just like, if I can match his energy levels and mm. like, if he's fucking bouncing around and wanting to like jump off the couch and stuff, then you jump off maybe the 31 year old yeah. me will jump mm -hmm. off. The you're couch saying your wife needs to look at you and go, Oh, if your kid jumped off the couch, you would too. And you say, yes, for sure. <laughs> yes, I would. Yeah. So uh, I need to be a kid as well and not be a parent is what it sounds like. Yeah. I think be, that's a that that's, can do that. That's a great way Twist to look at it. My there. wife's been saying that, that for years. I just got to be me. <laughs> be, yeah, sounds, don't, it sounds don't, inevitable. Don't pretend to be someone you're not. Thank you. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't be their parent. Be their friend. There we go. I like that's great parenting yeah. advice. Yeah, it's phenomenal. <laughs> it's phenomenal. That is great parenting advice. So congrats on your new kid. Don't be a parent. Be a friend. Be an ally. No. You know? Um, two fun facts. Uh, from 1912 to 1948, the Olympics awarded medals for sport inspired artworks in architecture, literature, music, painting, and sculpture. Um, this idea came from Pierre something, the founder of the modern Olympics who wanted to train both body and the mind. The competitions were dropped in 1954 because artists were considered professionals which was seen as against the spirit of the games. Mm. A lot of questions that I hope you have answers for. I don't Jared. know if I do. So they gave out, like I would make a sculpture of Tyler playing badminton. Yes. And that was judged and given a gold medal. Not necessarily of just sports. It was just artwork in yeah. general. It was basically yeah. art Olympics. And they banned it because they were professionals. And now all we do is have professionals in the Olympics. Correct. So you're saying we should bring it back. Could, yeah. I don't think we should. I don't either. Why not? Uh, it's not really a sport. It's, it's the Olympic Games, not the Olympic drawing. Oh, I think it'd be kind of cool. Yeah, because drawing's not a game. Like, you can't put a time... Like a time limit on drawing. I suppose they do have art <clears throat> competitions, though. They do. It is somewhat of a game. And there is Battle of the but Bands. art is in the eye of the beholder. That yeah. is true. So now it's just all judges. And you yeah. could argue that those athletes, their competition is their art. But like you have boxing judges, you have gymnastics judges. Yeah. But those are all like... Uh, ju Did she do this many flips? Did she stick the landing? You know, there's... Does this art invoke feeling? I mean, that's subjective. Very, very but then subjective. there's also com composition with art, too. Yeah. I mean, there would have to be category. I mean, the only one you couldn't truly judge. Well, what is the Olympics defined as? It is a Is it a sports thing? I that's how it that started. <laughs> but now, because... Uh, the original Olympics was just running and wrestling and jumping. That was it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it, it, was, it was. It was just like. How did, how did it ever catch on? Oh my god! It took. It took like a a couple hundred year hiatus, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, two thousand years. I think. And, yeah, something like that. <laughs> they had to reworkshop the whole fucking thing. <laughs> they're like, guys, this is boring. Let's take a year off. I think we can figure it out in a year. And then one hundred years later, they're like, boom, swimming. Because <laughs> pole vaulting was just the art of. That's how they got over rivers. Oh, yeah. Long Mo- stick moats. Yeah. Yeah. God. It was just all like life skills. How far it's come. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now there's breaks. What was dancing. the question? The that co- was a fact. That was yeah. a fact. <laughs> um it is thought provoking, Jared. Yeah. Mind corner. No, I don't think you spring art back. I don't either. Me no, either. They can have their own Olympics. Art's great, but in the Olympics is not. They had break dancing too. Dance is kind of an art. In the Olympics? Yeah. I just, I mean, it could be a whole podcast discussing all of the sports that are sports they're letting into this mm-hmm. thing. It's getting out of hand. <laughs> uh, Percy Spencer was working as a researcher for American Appliance Company, now Raytheon, when he noticed that a radar set using electromagnetic waves melted the candy bar in his pocket. He had the idea to make a metal box using microwave microwaves to heat food, but the company was the one to file the patent. The patent that was in 1945, and he received a two dollar bonus, but never any royalties. I mean, that's just bad negotiating by what's his name, Percy, Percy Jackson Spencer. or Spencer, <laughs> Percy Jackson and the Olympians. I mean, I'm sure in his contract said any IP that you create is ours. Yeah, no, yeah. I and mean, it's tough. It's is that the way it should be? He should have been. Yes, moon, he should have moonlit, invented that in his garage. Correct. Yeah. He absolutely should have. He should have quit his job. Done that. Could have been the microwave, man. What year was that in? 45. 1945. So he's doing this in the middle of World War II? I guess. I feel like there's a lot of innovation in, during World War II. I, there had to be to keep up. Do you guys know that that's actually how a lot of big discoveries happen is by accident? I just discovered that now so, on accident. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to discover something, don't try to discover it. Done. Mm. Think like penicillin was like that or yeah, something. Yeah, a mold. Yeah, or Viagra was one of those. Yeah, I watched that movie. What was it with Jake Gyllenhaal? Where they act, they're trying to make some like blood pressure medication. It just kept giving the trial people <laughs> yeah. boners. Yeah, and they're like, like, we could sell this <laughs> if you want to discover something. Just don't do anything related to that. You know, it's like, <laughs> you know, yeah. So if you want to discover the cure for cancer. Try to make Try sk- to. Skittles taste better. You'll, exactly. You'll stumble right upon it. You got a, just as good a shot as the people trying to cure cancer now. True. Where's all the money going? Yeah. It's a great question. There was a patron that s- said uh, we should do THC roulette and Viagra roulette on the same go. <laughs> I think we'd figure that one out <laughs> quick. <laughs> Is that we're going like this? Jared hands us a, a fruit snack and a blue pill. I'm like, hmm, I wonder which one I got. No, you crush it up and put it in the THC seltzer. Mm. Oh, that would work, yeah. We did that to a guy. Wait, so you get... So whoever and gets we all have to wear compression shorts. <laughs> so whoever and gets, it's a standing podcast. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no crisscross apple. Yeah, Ryan's like, I think we should do the crisscross applesauce this episode. Uh, um, We did that at... at when wait, I was working wait. concrete, we bought... It wasn't Viagra, but we bought one of the Extends pills <laughs> at the gas Bob. station. And we put it in one guy's drink and didn't do shit. <laughs> well, you remember the Smiling Bob oh commercials? We actually put it in Flops' drink. <laughs> is, is, he, he loved Powerade Zeros. They are good. Could, they are good. He, he get would it. suck down Powerade Zeros. <laughs> Nothing happened? No. Hmm. You may have just diagnosed him for ED. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, Flops, do you have erectile dysfunction? Erectile dysfunction? <laughs> Why? <laughs> we could do lax- laxative roulette too. Oh my god! Uh, you, you did. You w- lost that on Friday. That's what we did. Yeah, we did do it. You just didn't know who shit themselves. <laughs> uh, what were you gonna say, Tyler? Uh, you remember the smile, the extends smiling Bob commercials? No. It's just this dude that he just he was known as Smiling Bob because he couldn't stop smiling because he could get boners now. So we got my buddy in high school a smiling Bob t-shirt and he wore it under his pads every single football game our senior year. I like that. There's always there is always that one guy in football 
uh, that wear the same shirt mm-hmm. underneath his pads yeah. every single game or practice or whatever. Mm-hmm. Good luck, and it just fucking reeks. Mm-hmm. It'd be like a football camp t shirt or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 2004. Yeah. <laughs> well, is that it, Jared? Yeah, that's it. Why are you so sad? Yeah. What, what? Jesus. He's like, I don't want to go home. Yeah, episode's over. It sucks. Yeah. That's Just, actually right. Hey, we should all be don't sad. Don't be sad. It's over. Be happy. Be glad it happened. Yeah, there we go, Jared. Yeah. yeah. That's true. <laughs> I just sat here with all the lights on. You, did, you cured your fear of water. That's true. Yeah, now you know it's natural. Mm-hmm. I can go swimming now. You found out that hot. are you hurt or are you scared? You just hurt meant or physically. Your body was hurt when you jumped in. It wasn't that you were scared. Yeah, you're so, so brave, Jared. Thank you. Well, guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of You Bet Your Radio podcast. May your kryptonite be gone. <laughs> <laughs> May you not have any kryptonites. And your what else did we talk about? Man cave. May your man cave. Be, be not not have four walls. <laughs> Let's see. Cheers, Ryan. Oh, you betcha, yeah. Yeah. Would you rather have a forty-inch vertical or automatically add a hundred pounds to your current bench? Forty-inch vertical yeah. would be sick. Tight. I because you could just dunk. <laughs> if I had a forty-inch vertical, I could dunk. And that's way cooler than bench pressing an extra hundred pounds. Especially in my current walk of life, like I could use that forty inch vert way more than being able to press something off me an extra hundred well, pounds. I'm thinking about you know at the lake when kids are running around and you're playing keep away with the ball. Mm-hmm. You could literally just like jump over yeah. the children, Easily. even if they're like eight. They're coming at you to get the ball from you. Just run and jump over them. <laughs> And then everyone's like, wow, he's in such great shape, you know. I'm going to make this. I hope, that he, am I, I hope that someday at his age, I'll be that fit. Mm-hmm. I'm the a, kids will be thinking. I'm going to tweak this question and make it harder. Would you rather have a 40-inch vert or a 4340 right now? <sighs> I mean, a 4340 at any time in your life it's is incredible. Fuck, f- <laughs> awesome. But just not, 31 years not like super useful to us right now. Yeah, but. I could then just try out for the league again. Yeah. Again. Mm-hmm. Again. <laughs> <laughs> First one obviously didn't go well. <laughs> I, 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 I did not try out for the league. Indirectly, uh, I guess. Indirectly, I did. They just didn't want me. Should uh, get that 40 time back. I, I sent them my huddle tape. I mean, my huddle tape was on huddle. You said it. I just didn't find it. You sent it to NFL at (laughs) gmail.com. Goodell at (laughs) gmail.com. Check this out, Raj. (laughs) Like he's a scout. (laughs) What do you think? You got a place for me? Yeah, I'll take anything. Um, (laughs) It's to Thunderstruck. (laughs) (laughs) All slow mo. Now, the question begs the question, how off, what are you going to use more, your vertical or your, because if you're running a 4340, it also means you can jump really high. Yeah. But this is an either or situation. Let's say if you run the 43, you only get a 20 inch vert. Which is vertical I have now. Yeah. Yep. Which is 39 inches. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think my highest vertical I ever did when we measured in college was like 33 inches. Which actually That's is really good. fucking sweet. Hmm. I just think almost a whole other foot. It's a lot. It's a lot of inches. I think I'm gonna go four three. I because I have been able to jump moderately high in my life, which is fun. Mm-hmm. But I've never been able to run fast. I think the fastest forty I ever ran was like a four eight. So it would be awesome to get an extra half second out of that. <laughs> to be that fast would be just electrifying. God, I don't know. I think I'd take the 40, though, because like there's not too many times where I am showing off my speed right now. But if I could dunk on one of my buddies just playing horse, that'd be sweet. <laughs> How many times a year are you playing horse with your buddies? Uh, I play with my cousins almost every time we go to the lake Okay, because there's a All basketball right. court there. And I they're... Will- they're like 19 and 20. So if I could dunk on their little shit asses, that'd but it's be sweet. also equally as cool to beat them and not be able to jump very high. Yeah. You know, speed by them. Anyways, 
I. Uh, what about you, Jared? Mm. I feel like. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I feel like you've never been able to run fast no. or jump high. No, no, <laughs> yes. not. so no, not athletic, athletically gifted at all. Um, I think it, I don't know. I my mind immediately goes to like barbed wire fences. It'd be cool, to like just to clear a barbed wire fence instead of like having to do like. Can a, you with a forty inch? Oh vertical? yeah, Either oh way. running start and yeah. a forty inch vert for sure. <laughs> a bu- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not like a prison bar. No, 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 no. It's yeah. like, like, on, like, a, like on a farm. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like, yeah. I don't think you need 40 inches to be able to but do But you can just do it confidently, not even thinking True. about it. Like if piece I had a, of, he's really, What he's really buying is peace of mind. Yeah, because going through a bar wire fence, it's like such a process. It's so annoying. Mm-hmm. Like right now, if I, I could do it, but I'd just have to, I'd have to gear myself up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I would just do the fa- Fallsbury flop. Like over, high jump it? Yeah, just go over backwards. <laughs> <laughs> then your head hits a rock. <laughs> no, there's some sort of prairie grass to yeah. catch you on the other side. A natural moss bed. <laughs> <laughs> a pillowy moss bed. Next time we're hunting and we got to cross a barbed wire fence, I'm going to Fallsbury flop. Is that what it's called? I think you're right. With your shotgun and because they used to go over. Well, no, that's not safe. You Sorry. Hand no, I would use brother. the shotgun to pole vault over. <laughs> you've got a. You've got. You've Just got, running, with holding the barrel of the gun and the butt <laughs> facing down. You have a super flex shotgun like a golf shaft. Yeah, <laughs> guys, we are on the road to three thousand patrons, and once we hit three thousand patrons, we are going to have our wives do an episode without us and it's probably going to be a disaster for us Mm -hmm. but that is what we signed up for and you guys can help make it happen if you go sign up at patreon.com slash you bet your radio or look us up on the app get us to 3000 our wives are probably going to roast us in that episode so go check us out put us into the torture chamber pray for us pray for us